Welcome to a demo of a ServiceNow integration. I'm gonna focus this primarily on, of course, that integration, but some housekeeping items. I do wanna talk about the initial configuration for using that integration. So first, to validate, you do have to go to Tools, Settings, Global Settings. Now it is key here since ServiceNow is a SaaS platform and Device42 is going to have to connect to the internet in order to interact and, and get data from our API. You do have to include external integration settings. So for D42 URL, this is going to be an FQDN of your Device42 VM that is recommended. It could be the IP address, uh, but it does help having the FQDN that is addressable for clickbacks and URLs that are going to be displayed in the integration. This information is unique and does register your instance on the Device42 Cloud Connector, which helps obfuscate the interactions of ServiceNow so your VM doesn't have to directly reach out to all locations on the internet. It simply needs to reach our Cloud Connector, which you can find more information around on our documentation. Once that's been sent in Tools, Integrations, External Integrations, you could then add the integration to your ServiceNow deployment. And this is going to include just some simple information as far as the URL. And you would create a token. This adds uh, to our secret store. This is really just a placeholder. It does not need to be identifiable information or any credentials from ServiceNow. You just create credential, username, password, just whatever you want to put in there. And we just use that to seed and verify and create the verification token, which is then placed within the ServiceNow uh, installation. Heading to ServiceNow, you of course will grab the Device42 plugin from the ServiceNow Marketplace. And let's start just with some simple configuration of that. So finding that after it's been installed, you go to Device42 settings and a few key pieces here. So this is the URL for our cloud connector. You can see them identified here. So this should either be connect.device42.net or connect.eu.device42.net. Then the Plug, plug in the verification token from the integration section in the last screen. And then the again, the FQDN or URL for your Device42 appliance. You can then save that and you would be all set. At that point, Device42, the integration will create some out of the box transform maps. This is going to include maps for devices, software, services, IP addresses, and affinity groups. So out of the box, it's going to allow you to sync and integrate all of that data to your ServiceNow CMDB. These transform maps, you may want to refer them on the initial installation as they are going to map to the vanilla schema of ServiceNow. So depending on your schema of ServiceNow and where you want this data to sit, you may need to, tar to modify the target fields. So in this case, these source fields are query values from device 42. They do not need to be modified. But in case here we have OS version, if we actually wanted OS version or OS version number to be in different target fields, we can modify that to fit our schema. So some initial exercise for mapping that data. And I do recommend having someone familiar with your ServiceNow deployment to help facilitate that mapping. Once that mapping has been done and completed to your liking, you can then go to your scheduled data imports. It's going to include those for those transform maps that are created to then run either on demand or set up to run on any schedule that you like. Now, this data is pulling from Dilkel, which is quite responsive. These queries can run relatively frequently. So if you need these to run every few minutes, every hour, that is absolutely fine. It is also important to know, I'm not going to be showing on this video, but you can create custom data sources within ServiceNow that look at what is called save the docal in device 42 to query any additional information that's not included out of the box of the integration. So it is important to know any data at all can be synced over to ServiceNow. So whatever we store in device 42, it's a matter of building a docal query around that and creating that data source inside of ServiceNow to pull that docal. With that done, I can then go to any of our CIs, so I can look at Linux servers or Windows servers, whatever CI tables we've mapped, and it'll gather all that information that typically you'd find in Device 42, but also available in ServiceNow. So I can see a few columns that I show in our current view of ServiceNow that I can, of course, drill into any other CI with information about that. So a lot of the same comparable data, host name, various configuration information, what sort of resources are allocated to that, the OS, as well as it's gonna put a URL in here. So if I want to go and copy this, 
actually go look at it in device for its UI, use the topology, impact view, maybe get some other values around life cycle. I can go and view the actual record inside of device for two, which might have a bit more data than just within ServiceNow. As well as all the software package information, the running processes on that device. And then the affinity group, so if there is an affinity group that's been created and eligible for a device, that is going to be translated to the dependency view in ServiceNow. So I can go ahead and load that up. And just like I would in device 42, if I'm in an affinity group, I can look at the relationships. So we have on this Linux server Java and MySQL. I'm going to expand out that MySQL service, see if there's any other CIs beyond that. So then we do have another application service. We have this Tomcat client. And I can continue branching those chains from within the dependency view of ServiceNow. So just as I would in Device 42, you have the options if you are a ServiceNow operator and prefer to use that within any change requests or tickets uh, or just in your CMDB of ServiceNow, you get a lot of the same functionality and all the same data that's being continuously discovered by Device 42. So just some keynotes to round it off there. Out of the box, it is going to include devices, software, services, and affinity group information, but there is the ability to create any saved local in device 42 and custom data sources in ServiceNow to sync any other information. One last option I do want to mention on our github.com slash device 42, you'll find a ServiceNow device 42 mapping script. Now where this may be useful it is an external Python script you can run on any Windows Linux host on a Python environment but it will give you a mapping XML file where you can map any data from ServiceNow or Device 42, and it does allow bi-directional interaction. So we talked about first the integration that's available on the ServiceNow marketplace. That's relatively plug and play. All data from Device 42 could be synced over to ServiceNow. This does allow you to modify the Python and the mapping XML file to have interactions of any data between both platforms. And this is another solution uh, that could be leveraged to sync information. It does have a bit more of a learning curve. There is a bit more overhead to getting this started, but it does allow the ability of any interactions to be synced between both solutions. So something to be mindful of if you do need more extensive interaction between the two lanes. Thanks for checking out the integration. Have a good one.